Hey guys, it's Final Master Link, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons. And welcome to the level 8 Sword and Shield Maze. Well, I guess it's not really a maze, but. Well, I think what's. I think the difference between a maze and a labyrinth is that labyrinths have, like. Like, um. It's supposed to mean. It means that nobody is supposed to get out of them. But. Hell, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Alright, so in this room, there's actually an item in here, which is a ring, which. I'm probably gonna skip over that because. I don't think really anyone cares if I don't do the whole ring side quest. So I'm not going to do it. Now, I just spent like almost two hours looking over this whole dungeon and the. Uh, the final boss, and um, I still gotta look up some of the heart piece locations because I'm pretty sure I can get some of them. I think you can get over here to this side of the room, but it's not like required, so don't worry about it. I'm sure if you experiment, you might be able to find a way in there. So, yeah, we are almost finished with this game. Now, as of what I'm going to do for my next LP, I... I'm not sure. I don't think I'm exactly going to do an LP, though. More like, uh... Some other stuff. It's going to be kind of like a filler, almost. God, I hate these guys. Like, I might do a couple of short games that I've run across, like, uh, maybe <coughs> Super Mario Brothers. <coughs> Man, I gotta get rid of that cold I'm getting. Of course, that doesn't make too much sense, because I told you guys that I, like, never get sick. Yeah, so you throw some bombs over here, get a little bomb action, that didn't sound right, but you know what I mean. Then you get this end ball. And then you're supposed to use this to kill the, um, what you call it. And you get a K out of it. Yeah, you'll be wondering why I'm sliding it. That's because I'm walking on ice, in case you're retarded and don't really take a gander at things that are right in front of you. But that's okay. I do that a lot too as you've all seen. Alright, I have two keys. I can unlock that, which I think I should right now. I'm pretty sure this area is... Yeah, this is blocked off. So we're going to go in here. And there's a bunch of crap in here. You really don't need to pay attention to too much in this dungeon, other than the snakes, or the ropes. Like, there will be a lot of areas in which you want to clear out the entire room of any enemies before you try to attempt some of these jumps that you gotta do. I'll show you what I mean later on. Ah, oh, crap, I had that rope. Yeah, this is pretty self-explanatory, just jump over them. Well, don't jump on them, jump over them. Yeah, and there will be this, um, hand that tries to grab you. Really disturbing, but... Oh shit, he almost grabbed me. See, I don't really need any hearts, so... Yeah, this is one of those rooms where I'm talking about. Yeah, these fireballs will keep on circling around, and you want to get rid of these enemies, probably. Because they'll be in your way, and I gotta time this just right. Eh. I got hurt a little, but I made it okay. Shit. I should have had that. Oh, that helped. Oh my god, are you kidding me? There, I made it. This one isn't as bad. 
just gotta make sure they're not the bats aren't gonna get in your way when you jump off to the other side or else they're probably gonna knock you over ooh I'm surprised I made that it's all good yeah this is kind of annoying too ah that's kinda why see I'm used to I, I was practicing this widescreen oh you son of a bitch Aw, oh, dang it. I guess that's what this little area here is for. Crap. I hate having to do that. There. Ah, oh, are you serious? Thank God. Figures when I just stop talking, I just so happen to make it. Crap, I don't even know what time we're up to. I hate these fire bats. I really do. And that's kind of why. They suck. Ah, crap. There's no way I'm gonna die here. No fucking way. I'll just, um, go in here for a quick second. Ah, uh, yeah! Boy, that didn't sound right. Oh god, there better be a fairy in one of these. Pretty sure a fairy can appear in one of these. Pretty sure one did during my practice run. And I cannot see the time on my computer. There we go, I got a fairy. Thank the lord. See, I got three minutes. Yeah, we can go ahead and grab the compass. The compass. That's what Nintendo Capri Sun calls it. And you know what? What the hell am I doing? I can just use this. Eh, that wasn't too bad. I can always restock here. Yeah, the thing that happens in these 2D Legend of Zelda games is that whenever you break a pot, it seems like it's less likely to, um, give you something more useful later on, which is kind of annoying. Like, when you really need it. At least that's how it is in my experience. Yeah, you can also go here, but we should probably leave these alone because there's actually the mini boss that's right next to this. It's what this keyhole is for. And uh, this, these three statue things will be important later. I know you guys saw I hit one with my um, slingshot earlier and it like made its eye appear. Its invisible eye appear. And yes, if you listen to this owl, he'll tell you the secret to beating the mini boss, icy cores make piercing blades. And to be honest, I I wasn't sure what that meant when I first read it. But what you want to do right now Wait no, you probably don't want to go in there yet. You could kill that guy with a ball and chain, I think it's called. Just by like standing to the side, he won't be able to get ya. At least not very easily. Now for Onox, he is actually a very he's actually kinda hard. Like I'm going to need a potion if I want to kill him. So yeah. Oh yeah, here comes one of those, like, really kind of interesting puzzles. Just wait. Gotta kill these guys. Oh my god, will you just die? Alright. Gotta kill all the enemies, I think. Alright. See that statue over there? Well, 
when I walk over here, then I walk over here, wait for it, don't press any buttons. And there you go. That's how to make that thing move. Figured this one out on my own when I was a child. Probably just by trial and error. You talk to the owl, he will say, a silent watch may be needed. Which, which means you watch him, but you, like, come in and then, like, don't do anything, and that's how you get him. Oh, crap. It's, al it's already time to stop the video. I guess I'll see you guys later.